Am I the asshole? For coming to the hospital to see my ex after her son called me? Seven years ago I started dating a woman, let's call her Maya. She has a son, Mark. He was four when I started dating Maya. Mark's father, Maya's husband, unfortunately passed away when he was still a baby so he has no memory of him. Me and Maya got along quite well and our relationship proceeded steadily and without too many problems. In time, I built a good relationship with Mark too and by the time he was seven, we were a good trio. Unfortunately my relationship with Maya ended two years ago. It was nobody's fault. There was no cheating or abuse involved. We simply had some problems and we came to the conclusion it was better to break up. Last week I got a call in the middle of the night it was Mark calling. When I was still dating Maya, I had given him my phone number and told him to call if he was ever in trouble and needed help. He had never called since me and Maya broke up but that night he was panicking he called and he told me that he and Maya had a car accident. He was okay but Maya was injured and they had been taken to the hospital. I pondered on what to do but decided to go to the hospital. Maya has no living relatives and Mark told me he was alone so I went there, mostly to take care of Mark. When I arrived, Maya was still unconscious so I stayed with Mark for several hours, until she regained consciousness. When she saw me, she asked why I was there and I told her about Mark calling me. She said I should not have come and forced me to leave. At the time, I apologized and left because I thought I had overstepped her boundaries but now, thinking back, I don't think I did anything wrong. Mark was panicking and he called the person he wanted by his side in that moment. Was it wrong for me to come? Am I the asshole? Not the asshole, Mark needed support, you are a good guy for showing up and doing what you could. Mark must have felt overwhelmed and alone, I'm sure you helped his state of mind by just being there. You left when you were no longer needed. Not the asshole. Mark is what, 11 or 12? He needs someone to look after him. You would have been a bit of an asshole if you hadn't gone. Not the asshole. He looked up to you as a father figure and thought of you. Okay, mom is upset, but he wanted you there. Not the asshole. Here's the thing. What if she hadn't woken up relatively quickly? The hospital would have had a social worker put him in an emergency foster situation, so he would have been relatively safe, but he likely would also have been unable to visit his mother or attend his regular school. Yes, his mom was upset, and maybe reasonably so considering her situation and the confusion, but somebody needs to let that kid know he didn't do anything wrong. God forbid something should happen in the future and he has no one he can call. Not the asshole. You were doing a good deed looking out for her kid. A 11 year old you've raised for half his life calls you crying and asks you to come see him because his only parent is hospitalized, you'd have to be completely apathetic to say no to him. Do remember that you went there for him and not for your ex, that can really shift the perspective for you. Not the asshole I think in time she may evaluate it Rhea Good would leave a child alone in that situation. Try not to dwell on it. How terrifying for Mark. You showed him you'll be there for him. He was probably scared he could end up completely and utterly alone. What you did was a very good thing. I think what you did was really sweet. Now a young boy is afraid for his mother and all alone while she is injured. This wasn't an attempt to revisit a relationship, it's about taking care of a kid who is scared when their primary adult is in an emergency situation. It might have been a knee-jerk reaction at being surprised by your presence, but she might realize after some thought that it was right for you to show up when Mark called you in a panic. How cold would it have been to say no anyway? No. You were very kind to do so. He won't forget it. Not the asshole. While Maya might not have wanted to see you, Mark needed you. Maya was unconscious and didn't really want any comfort, but Mark was conscious, scared, and needed someone he trusted. Also, Op, Maya's feelings about the whole thing might be partly affected by trauma of a crash, as well as the shock of seeing you there and then also leftover feelings of the breakup. Not the asshole what you did was amazing, 
I hope it helped Mark I understand Maya as well, she was, hurt, vulnerable you do not want an ex there. You did not do anything wrong. Mark called you. He was scared and needed someone he trusted. That was you. You stepped up and went there for him. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. You did what any decent person would do in the situation. Nah, you're her ex so understandable she didn't really want you there. You also weren't in a position to get more information on what you should do until she woke up. This is just all around a rough one. Not the asshole. I was ready for you to say that you didn't go to Mark when he needed you and I was going to be so disappointed and sad for him. You did the right thing. You helped Mark when he needed you most and when he had no other trusted adult around to be there for him while his mom was unconscious. Maya just went though a lot and might not be thinking clearly, so I would give her the benefit of the doubt. Hopefully, she will realize this. Oh. No, you are very definitely not T.A. It was lovely of you to go when he needed you. Not the asshole. He was scared, and he called you. He knows he can reach out and that's important. Not the asshole. You did the right thing for the young man. There are a number of reasons she might not have wanted you to see her in that setting. Give it some time and then check in to ensure they both have recovered. You may not have a romantic relationship anymore, but that doesn't preclude you from being a good friend. Nah you're not wrong for going but I don't think it's fair to judge her reaction in the moment. Not the asshole Mark called you, you showed up, and you respected Maya's boundaries by apologizing and leaving when she told you to. I'm sure Mark appreciated you being there with him and I'm sorry to hear that he may not have a very big support system. Not the asshole. You did a good and kind thing for Mark. Maya will realize this once she's on the road to recovery. She's still traumatized. Who will look after him if she has to stay overnight in hospital? Not the asshole I think it was so kind of you to go and comfort Mark. I hope when she is thinking clearly she apologizes and thanks you. Not the asshole. You did good if he felt comfortable calling you in an emergency situation where he should not have been alone. Let's hope your ex's reaction was because she wasn't thinking clearly. Not the asshole H. I'm going to take a guess that Maya was more upset knowing that you're there then but won't be there the next day. Or the day after that. Mark was scared and alone after an accident. With his only parent hurt and unconscious. He called a trusted adult in his time of need and you answered. Nah. If I was in a car accident that left me you conscious for hours I probably wouldn't want to wake up to see my ex. However you weren't wrong to go to the hospital when Mark called. Apologizing and leaving was the right move. Don't get hung up on the idea that you were in the right so was she. You did the right thing. The harder thing is what is the right thing now. Because if she was properly injured they probably both need help now, and it sounds like it's possible they don't have anyone else to help. And she is never going to ask you because of her probably knee-jerk reaction at the hospital. I think you need to call and check in on her. But don't apologize for going to the hospital or calling her. Just say why you've done it.